Hello. Um, I'm a sort of hobbyist cartoon animator type person. I don't really take it too seriously. I don't have enough knowledge of Blender that I can actually create fantastic animations. So I tend to look around for the bits of software that can help me out with my cartoon animations. And I found this Bugs Bunny Cartoon Workshop which you run via an emulator. I have created a different video on YouTube which shows you how to do this. But it's limited with the scenes that you can actually use. So I was wondering how we actually can expand this a little bit just to make some more interesting cartoons. So if I just run it... On the video I'm not too sure. It's the recording software that probably does this. I'm going to hit the escape key and I'm going to lose this character here by clicking on the characters and I press the rubber button so it removes the actor from the scene and I'll OK that and I'm going to choose a new stage I'm going to pick a colour let's call it let's just take the green colour and these are the stages that I could have selected as I say there's there's not a lot there, there's just a few so I'm just going to, without selecting any of these, I'm just going to have the green screen and click OK I'll go back to selecting an animation so if I look down here these are the animations I can use you can dance or you can take off, preach. Uh, let's do take off. So we'll OK that. Now I'm just going to move them along on the screen here. If I play that, that's great. So you need to save this you need, actually need to save that um, by recording it with some sort of screen recorder I've already done that into a file so I'm just going to exit out of here now the next pro so I'm currently recording with this so I'm going to go into that I'm going to wax to hopefully there we go if I right click on the media I can add the media files the green screen animation which I've already saved is this so I'll just double click that and we have a video file and we have a sound file so the video file I just want to use for now if I play it there's the preview that's what we had so I'll just stop that. Now one of the software I use is Bryce and you can create your sort of cartoon backgrounds. So I'll add a media file. There's a cartoon and I'm just going to bring that down to there. I'll just extend it to the length of the animation. Now you can't see it at the moment so what we need to do is we need to go to video plugins go to chroma key add that over the top of the green screen use the picker and select the green colour and already it started to remove the green I'm going to change the tolerance to just reduce it that's better now when I play it So I've, I've now managed to create an animation over one of my type of backgrounds rather than the, the screens that are limited with this cartoon workshop. Now, there is something good about this. If we delete this, this one, what we can also do, I'll go back to Media Pool, and I'll right click, I'll add a media file, and I'm just going to add an existing movie file the movie file, we have a movie and we have a sound file so I'm just going to drag the movie file down here 
Now similarly as it was over our image file, if I play this, it now plays the movie and does the animation over the movie. And if I was to click on that render tool, that would render that to a, an AVI file that I could put up to YouTube. So that's, that's just one way of improving your animations if you're a hobbyist like me. So maybe the next thing I can uh, look into is how to create these animations without using Cartoon Workshop. So I don't know. But anyway, I hope you found that of use. Maybe it's a little bit of help in trying to improve the animations that you make. So thank you for watching. Thank you.